Hello again, my name is Jürgen Köhler, I'm a keyboard player from Frankfurt, Germany and uh, today we're going to talk about main stage and one of the deepest secrets in main stage creating patch buses to uh, control uh, the volume of each keyboard separately. We got right now we got two keyboards and two sounds, um, a piano on the lower one and a press section on the high one. So while playing, uh, we may not only want to change the master volume, but maybe the trumpets need to be a little louder. And uh, then we just need to control the second keyboard, but not the volume of the first keyboard. So for that reason, um, we create patch a patch bus. Uh, so in this um, channel strip from uh, the, the acoustic piano, we click to output. And we say, let's insert a new patch bus. So this piano is now rooted to a patch bus. And if we go to this patch bus, this one goes out to the master volume. Okay, so what's this for? Uh, we go to layout and we add another knob where we can control something. So let's see where all the knobs are. Okay. A round knob, that's it. We add, we drag and drop this knob and we assign it to our MIDI controller. Assign and I... I'm gonna use the first knob of that MIDI controller. Okay, back to edit. Now I click this knob. And here you see this auxiliary for appearing. And we say this knob is for the volume of that channel strip. So right now it's that's zero. You can turn it down and up and see how it works. So this is pretty, pretty good if you do not have only one acoustic piano sound. But maybe a layer with a four or five songs or split sounds on the lower keyboard. And you don't want to change uh, the balance between those sounds, but you want to increase the volume of the lower keyboard at all. So you, if um, we add another channel strip for that keyboard, let's put it there and let's put patch bus over there. And let's take some strings from the sampler. Pop strings one. Let's add some effects. Large hall, large reverb. So if you play this piano, you can hear the strings as well. But maybe the strings are too loud for that one. So put down. That's better. So now, if I turn this knob for the volume of the patch bus, oh, the strings don't work. So now I have to route the strings of the lower keyboard to the, this patch bus as well. Patch bus one, auxiliary four. So now I'll play the strings and the piano. I can lower the volume or increase it for both sounds at the same time. Okay, so that's patch bus one. Now for the, the upper keyboard, I do the same. I go to layout and add another round knob. Sign it to the second knob my MIDI controller. 
two. Back to edit. And now for the second instrument for my trumpet section, I choose another patch bus. So not the same one, but insert a new patch bus. This is AUX5. So now I can tell this knob that it has to control my new patch bus, the volume of the new patch bus. So the trumpet section. can be controlled over this knob, while the piano can still have the same volume. So this patch bus uh, works only in this patch, so for every patch you should program its own patch buses. But this makes just a thing very... But this... You have to program... For every patch you have to program its own patch buses. Um, just as you need it and you can have as many knobs or as many patch buses I like to control the volume of a whole layer section. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next videos.